down from the Microsoft board. Mm-hmm. And what else was I've always been a conspiracy theorist, so I don't want to lend my brain to this, but the timing is peculiar. And what was that? The timing that, that is woke, odd. That woke video I put in our group chat had some more information about Bill Gates' uh, involvement in this entire thing. Oh, oh, did it? I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I just made jokes. We was recording. Yeah. Oh, well, shit. I got it right here. I'll play it. Get ready to be woke. Well, I'm woke after the J election. There are strange facts surrounding the coronavirus outbreak of 2020. Turn down a little bit. In 2018, the Peerbright Institute was granted a patent for the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Peerbright Institute is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Well, what do you know? <laughs> On October 18th of 2019, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, along with John Hopkins and the World Economic Forum, hosted Event 201, mm. a high-level pandemic simulation in New York City. Mm. The simulation, which was held just three months ago, was based on the coronavirus. What they concluded you know? that it could kill 65 million people and decided the solution was to have a vaccine within months of an epidemic. The same week that the coronavirus makes headlines, Netflix releases the docu-series Pandemic, Pandemic. How to Prevent an Outbreak, wherein the solution is vaccines and the trusted hero is Bill Gates. Sounds fishy. Meanwhile, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation fund Innovio Pharmaceuticals, Inc. to develop a coronavirus vaccine. The beat in the background is harder than the jail. It's weird, right? Relax. Or am I just a conspiracy theorist? No, 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 it is weird, buddy. What about this? Keep going. Meanwhile, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation fund Innovio Pharmaceuticals, Inc. to develop a coronavirus vaccine. The beat in the background is harder than the jail. It's weird, right? Relax. Or am I just a conspiracy theorist? No, 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 it is weird, buddy. What about this? Keep going. 5G. An emerging technology mm. upgrade that has many countries concerned about its impact on human health. The coronavirus Experts is five from grams. all over the world mm-hmm. warn of the Shut dangers up, of 5G. In 2018, it was reported locally that Wuhan would be the testbed city for full mm. 5G network operation in Wuhan. China. The article went on to say that it would be fully operational by 2020. And on Halloween of 2019, they turned it on. Scientists hey, warned that 5G causes flu-like does. symptoms. They just hit the switch. Interesting. <laughs> so cool. What is also interesting is that when trying to All share the link internet, of 5G being launched the yeah, with Wuhan, the Facebook Shit. blocks you from doing so uh, because it violates you know, their community guidelines. Of course, Facebook. Yeah, why, yo, why they throw Mark Zuckerberg under the bus every time? Because <laughs> he's the, the, the devil. <laughs> That's why. Um, See, now this sounds like now this sounds- scientists outside of China warned that these labs were not secure and that the virus might escape one of the facilities. Now, don't forget, this isn't internet theory, uh, conspiracy theory, or fake news. Canada had the coronavirus in the Winnipeg bio lab where something happened with Chinese researchers who were escorted out by the RCMP. Do we know what happened? Do, Do we know anything more? Oh, no, you don't have to know that. Don't worry your head about that. Government's got it all controlled. The media has it all controlled. I would use the term escape loosely, that this event was created intentionally. The virus itself has certainly hallmarks of being engineered, including its long dormant period, without visible symptoms. It could be up to two weeks. And the current strain is probably derived from the one the Chinese stole a year ago from a lab in Winnipeg, Canada. Boy, all these internet conspiracy people. Oh, just believe the government. Interestingly, a representative from Johnson & Johnson, one of the companies that may end up designing a vaccine for the coronavirus, suggested during Event 201 that a centralized global economic authority 
in charge of funding and procuring vaccines for various nations in crisis was an option for solving the pandemic. Centralized? A centralized government? Global economy? Centralized? Hello? I seem to have heard that before. Oh, United Nations maybe? I don't know. That sounds strangely similar to what globalists have been demanding for many years now. And the pandemic just happens to offer a perfect excuse for the creation of such a one-world financial authority. Yo, Black Moon coming back with another video. Look, can y'all imagine what it's like to have a role on the world stage? <clears throat> to be one of the ones that sit at a table and decide the things that the public is going to face and to know about certain stuff decades ahead of time. To basically be one of the players in implementing the new world order, the one world government, the one world currency, you know. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine having enough money in the world to be able to fund anything you want? Shit that you don't even have no idea about. Can you imagine that? I don't think any of us could. But we also should know that most of these people are just puppets on the string, you know. And there are bigger agendas that we couldn't even imagine. This is pushing something forward, no matter what we think it's about, you know, being vaccinated or there being a, you know, a vaccine that we have to take in order to even go back to work or in order for people to go back to school or, you know, to travel again, anything. No matter what we think, there's always something bigger that's attached to the entire plot because we won't know exactly what's really going on. Obviously, we only know the things that they want us to know completely, you know. So it just made me think about that, which is why um, I'm glad I found those clips um, to show y'all, you know, because um, it's only going to get worse as far as this virus shit right now. It's one of those things that will only get worse before it gets better, you know, because we basically like in the beginning of it still, especially here in America, you know, and um, it's not for me to push any kind of fear, like I always say, but it's not me that's doing it. It's literally the media and the government. They're making the shit worse. Using celebrities to, like, completely convince you that this shit is as bad as they are making it seem. You know? Um, so we just got to be aware of this shit. You know, it ain't too much for me to talk about. I've already done shit, probably five videos on this shit. So it's not much to talk about. But those are just some interesting clips that I found. And I thought y'all should see. So shit, all I can say is just keep your eyes open. You know, uh, keep your mind tuned to the truth. You know, and um, don't let yourself get played. And that's it. Um, don't let the people around you panic either. If somebody around you panicking, your family or anything like that, shit, maybe that's the time to let them know. If it's somebody you want to be and show some, you want um, to show some truth to, you ain't quite got to them yet, maybe that's the time to do it. You know, show them the shit that you're looking at and the shit that you're watching. So we can all be aware and prepare for the bullshit. So, yeah, like I said, I ain't going to say too much around this. Just wanted to show y'all what was going on. So I'm out.